Walking down the Santa Fe River in winter, part two. Thank you all for coming back. Appreciate your sticking with me. Not many of you do. Uh, YouTube statistics tell me about 33% of you stick around till the end of the video. Uh, in general. Uh, and I guess that's not bad. And to, to those of you uh, who are with me at the end of the video, thank you so much for sticking around. Just to listen to my voice, apparently. Uh, I'm certainly grateful to have you all visit my channel. All right, this is the bridge under Paseo de Peralta here. Sort of where my last video ended. There's a little graffiti here. It says Zoba loves. Zoba loves. Truth. Of course, when we were teenagers, we used to hang out in the river all the time. I don't get down here that much anymore. It's snowing very lightly. Just a f snowflake on occasion. Oh, look, there is some kind of a homeless camp or shelter here. Looks like it's probably abandoned. Probably. You never know. Might be someone in there trying to stay warm. River is flowing. Sculptures over there, carved out of the old dead cottonwoods. There's a huge raven up there. Let's see if we can get him. He's really enormous. He saluted me. Oh! All right, well, somehow we got up out of the river here. Let's get back down in. This is the bridge that serves the retirement home, El Castillo. Looks 
like a pretty cozy little bridge to camp out under if you had to. Like there's a family of crows living in here. Nice day for a little bird watching. Uh, it's a little hard to pick my way in here. There's not much of a trail. Bushwhacking it now, guys. I'm gonna cross again. There's a little bridge here. It can be dangerous doing something like this. You never know who you're gonna run into down here. You do have to sort of be aware of your surroundings. I'm going to try to walk across this ice here and just hope I don't fall through. Hey, no problem. Must be really cold right here. Yeah, I never really know uh, in these videos, like a video like this, should I just film it in HD and put some music to it? Or it, do you guys like my voice? Would you rather I kind of narrate the way I do? 
Uh, or should I do both? I could have two versions. I could have one with music and one with narration. But uh, like a video like this, it's actually rather picturesque and, and it might be nice just to publish it in HD with some music behind it. Just one thought I've been having. One issue I bumped into, uh, not too often, but on occasion, I uh, will be approached by a fellow citizen, or uh, maybe even a police officer or a security guard, some kind of authoritarian figure, who uh, confronts me about filming in public. And um, I can assure you it's perfectly legal to film in public, with very few exceptions. Uh, and that includes law enforcement, any other public official, and other citizens. In other words, if you're in public and you see somebody filming and you don't like it, I recommend you mind your own business, because it's none of your business. Even if they're filming you. And if you don't want to be filmed in public, I have a very good piece of advice to you. Don't go into the public. Obviously somebody camped out under this bridge. Wouldn't be my choice of a bridge to camp under, but I guess uh, it is close to the downtown area, so maybe there's a benefit to being near a lot of people, a more population, but I would probably go further upstream and find one of those other bridges to camp under if I was doing it. I have a lot of compassion for people who are forced to do this. I have uh, slept under a few bridges myself in my time and it's not a fun place to be. You know, regardless of what you think that people do it because they want to, believe me, if they could sleep inside they would rather do that. Uh, it's just uh, not all as simple as you might think and as far as staying at a homeless shelter well you know they're not necessarily any safer than just sleeping under a bridge sometimes um, you come into contact with a lot of other people when you do that and they have a lot of rules and uh, I think a lot of a lot of homeless people I think are uh, I don't want to call them anarchists but I would say uh, would tend to be rather libertarian in their views Uh, a lot of them don't even take food stamps, even though they could certainly qualify. They just don't, they don't bother to jump through the hoops to get the food stamps. They don't trust government authority. They don't like to give their information to government officials. And they generally kind of just want to be left alone. Not all of them, of course. I mean, there's many who, you know, do take a lot of advantage of public assistance, but 
just saying a lot of them don't. It's a beautiful bridge right here. Been here for a long time. It's got metal guardrails on it now, but it used to have wood. I remember I used to ride my skateboard across it all the time. Or maybe when we were kids, we'd hang out underneath it and drink a six pack. Drink a six pack, smoke a joint. And then go back to the plaza and get a Frito pie. If you have any memories of hanging out in the Santa Fe River, I would love to hear them in the comments below. Cops up there are still guarding the Capitol. I saw a National Guard out there too. It was yesterday. And this is the bridge over Don Gaspar. Don Gaspar is the street that passes over us. Don't know the name of the bridge. Looks like someone's had a camp here, had a little place for a fire there. Well, it looks pretty cozy actually. A little fire right there. I guess people might see your fire from over there in the park. Not if you had cardboard around it and you were all in there tight. pressure canister for soda pop. As I predicted from uh, my last Santa Fe River video, um, this area of the river has quite a bit more trash. It's not as clean, not as well patrolled. Maybe that's why no one was camping up there. The rich people had them run out. They had to come downstream. Isn't that just the, the story of life? The rich people take all the best part and the poor people move downstream. 
Drink the rich people's pee. All right, this is the Moon Bridge. Galisteo Street. Cerritos turns into Sandoval, turns into Galisteo. It's the Moon Year Bridge because it was built the year that we all landed on the moon. 1969. Did you know there's still people who don't believe that we landed men on the moon? And I admit, it's pretty surprising that we haven't landed any since 1972. One thing I don't like about my FZ300 is that it frequently turns itself off without warning. I don't know what the time limit is. I think it's 30 minutes or maybe it's 20 minutes, but it annoys me incredibly. Because usually I have no idea when it turned off and I don't know how much video I've lost. Probably not much. I mean, I've just been rambling about space exploration and uh, why it's so important to uh, the continuation of our existence as a species on this, as a species. Uh, and most importantly, I wanted to point out that just getting into space isn't enough to help mitigate the danger of a nearby exploding star uh, wiping us out entirely because that cosmic wave from that exploding star will uh, also wipe out any uh, life that we might establish on colonies in this solar system. However, if we could eventually, and what we need to do eventually is, uh, develop colonies around other stars, and that would really begin to help mitigate the danger to our existence as a species. Isn't this impressive? This is the Guadalupe Street Bridge. And as you can see, uh, it gets quite a lot of traffic here. Uh, there's some really nice, uh, someone even thought to build a little footbridge here so they could get across to their favorite spot to hang out. And uh, there is a lot of graffiti down here. There's a local resident. Howdy. How you doing? Nice little fire pit here. Uh-oh. There's a warning sign. Caution. Real water in the river. January till January 31st, I'm so sure there wouldn't be nearly enough water to prevent anyone from sleeping here. And it'd be very likely frozen during that time. Yeah, looks like people have had some pretty fun parties down here. Plenty of space. It's nice and cool. Get out of the sun. This would be the place to be for sure. I love that pyramid. Pretty good graffiti here and there.
when I was a kid that was wide open. You could ride your skateboard down here. Now they've got a little gate there. A gate with a caution sign. Do not sleep under bridges. Totally unenforceable, I'm pretty sure. Where the hell do you want me to sleep? Up on, out in the fucking... I mean, you know. Let's get real. I'm gonna sleep in the open. Pretty good graffiti here. Looks like the city periodically comes down here and paints over the graffiti and then the graffiti artists come back and paint over that. If you ask me, it's a complete waste of tax dollars. Just let the graffiti artists paint over their own graffiti. Alright, we got one more bridge to check out here. And, uh, Oh, so that last one, I said it was Guadalupe Street, but it sure wasn't. That was Sandoval, I guess. Sand, yeah, that's right, Sandoval splits. Galisteo comes off. Yeah, what am I thinking? Galisteo, then Sandoval, then Guadalupe Street. So, here we are on Guadalupe Street Bridge. Oh, there's a dude down here. Howdy. Nice bridge. I'm just uh, doing some filming down here in the river. Huh? I'm just doing some filming. YouTube. Pretty nice down here. It stays nice and cool down here in the summer, huh? Do you have less English? Yo, yo entiendo mucho español, pero no hablo bien. All right, you guys. That's uh, that's it. I'm not gonna film this guy and invade his privacy. He looks like he kind of wants to be left alone. Can't believe they put these stupid signs up down here. Looks like someone might have had a nice little structure here. Uh, that's going to end this video. Thank you all for sticking around with me. I appreciate it. Love you all a bunch. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, all that, you know, boring stuff that YouTubers say. Thank you all for sticking around. Thank you all for being part of it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. There was no trees here around this thing. It grew up pretty fast. There was a fountain here and a really nice sculpture. Uh, by an artist, a local artist. Wicks, I think. I don't know. Carrie and Lars Wicks. Uh, their mom did the sculpture that was here. Two kids. It was here for years. Two kids having a water fight. And I'm pretty sure one of them was 
my friend Carrie, and the other one was her brother Lars, who was also a friend of mine. There's the state unemployment office over there. And a lot of people, kind of unemployed folks, hang around in this park. I don't see that many of them right now. All right, this really is the end of the video, you guys. This is Davini signing off.